Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted to tell you thank you so much for your prayers. They're praying off. My mom is going in the right direction. She had her third surgery today, and they sewed her back up, so her stomach's closed, which is a good thing. And um, my dad says that, I said, Dad, so they've been able to stop the bleeding, right? And uh, he said, yes. And um, um, she's at John C. Lincoln Hospital here in Phoenix, Arizona. Her, my mom's name is Judy. I asked him if he knew that they, if they did the biopsy on the tumors that they removed, uh, if he knew they were cancerous or not. He said he doesn't know. But I know that my mom is the kind, of, she already told me that if she, that she hopes they're not cancerous, of course, duh, duh. But if, the, but, but if, it, but if that it was, and obviously she had no idea that um, there was gonna be complications like this, you know. She just thought she was gonna go get the surgery and then find out if she had to do chemo and stuff. But, but, but thank you everyone who's helped me pray through this. And um, I, I, I still need your prayers for my mom and um, they've, they've finally been able to close her up, um, you know, because she had to have uh, her peroneal, it's like a, it's called peroneal mass, mastitis surgery to get rid of the, the big, huge tumor. And then I guess they saw tumors on the perineal wall. Um, but anyways, um, if those were just non-malignant tumors, that would be so, so awesome, you guys. So please pray that those were not malignant. Dear Lord Jesus, please don't let those tumors be malignant. Um, also, she, she did tell me that, of course, she has hope before the surgery she she has hope and and was praying and I was praying that they are not malignant cancerous tumors and everything like that and um hopefully that is the case but she also told me that um if it is that she will do the chemotherapy to um do what she has to do to survive this um, ordeal, no matter what this ordeal is, obviously it's a attack from the enemy, but um, we are all Christians here, and um, and I know if you're watching this video, you're a Christian. If you're not a Christian, I don't know why you're watching it because I'm asking for prayers in Jesus' name. Um, and like I said before, I don't want prayers to other false gods. If that offends you, uh, that's that, that's not my problem, okay? Um, okay, I, I can explain how I know Jesus is real, but if you look back in my some of my other videos about Jesus, uh, I, I know for a fact that Jesus is real. I've had near-death experiences. Um, I have had things happen that are so painful to my brother, where, but Jesus brought him out of it. But the pain and the trauma of wondering if he was going to live is so painful, I don't want to talk about it. But when I prayed to Jesus... I was in shock for like two weeks. The doctors were saying he wasn't going to make it. And I couldn't even cry or anything. I'm just telling you guys. I said I, I wasn't going to get into it. But I, I couldn't even cry or anything because my twin brother, they said he wasn't going to make it. The doctor said and came in and said he's not, he's not going to make it. And if he does, he's going to be a vegetable. But... I finally got, I, I, I came out of my shock and I was able to cry and I got down on my hands and knees 
before it cross. And I said, dear Lord Jesus, please, please bring my brother. It made my brother live. I can't live without my twin brother. And within a millisecond, I don't even know if it was a whole second or three seconds or half a second, but within seconds or half a second or half of a half a second, my mom called and said, Chris just woke up. He was in a coma. I know Jesus is real. I know him. He knows me. He knows you. Whether you know him or not, he loves you. Um, if, if you decide that you don't want Jesus in your life, that is your loss. Um, sometimes Jesus calls people home and that's very painful. And sometimes it's not people's time to go. This is, I pray, not my mom's time. And, and, and but prayer, but prayer really works. Just a second, Andrew. Okay, just a moment. So I, 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 I just ask for your continued prayers for my mom. Um, and as, so that she can get that breathing tube apparatus out of her and get moved out of the intensive care unit. And, um, so that she, and then she's gonna, the, the, the plan is to get her off the, the breathing machine and out of the intensive care unit. And, um, and I'm just so glad that she's, her stomach is, they sewed up the, the, they sewed her back up, put her back together. And, um, and I just pray, dear Lord Jesus, that you just, surround her with angels of healing and that you and your Holy Spirit are there healing her and that all you people that pray and know the power of prayer keep praying for my mom please because it's working you guys it's working now is not the time to stop and I just want to say thank you so much you guys I love you guys God bless you all in Jesus mighty name I learned last night that besides his name, Jesus and Jehovah and uh, Yeshua, he was also called Rapha, which means the healer. So thank you, Jesus, Rapha. And thank you for praying, guys. And please keep praying. I got to go uh, help my son finish up his bath. I'll talk to you guys later. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being prayer warriors with me. It's making the biggest difference. You have no much, no idea how much your prayers help. In the spiritual realm, the spiritual realm is more real than this world. And God hears our prayers. Oh, he does. He sure does. Thank you. I'll talk to you guys later. I love you guys. God bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.